If you're looking for a file manager on FreeDOS, you might try the DOS Navigator. DOS Navigator is what's called an orthodox file manager. That means it's got two or more panes that let you interact with files and directories in your system. It's very similar to the old Norton Commander if you've used that. Now, uh, I thought I'd do a quick video here to show a couple of things you can do with DOS Navigator. So let's take a quick look. So here I've installed DOS Navigator. If you don't have it in your system, you can install it yourself using FT Impulse. Uh, if I do a directory, uh, you can see the files that are installed here. Uh, and dn.com is the executable for DOS Navigator. So let's go ahead and run dn. Now I've got a color scheme loaded here. We'll talk about what that means in a second. This one is meant to look like the uh, uh, Norton Commander. Uh, now on the right hand side you can see uh, these are, oh by the way I have my mouse loaded so if I, I can wiggle my mouse you can see it move. Uh, on the right hand side uh, uh, this is the active pane you can tell because up here the header has been uh, set in this background color. But you can see these two different panes that I was talking about. On the left hand side I'll just click on that and make that the active pane. Uh, real quick before I go on you can see that uh, files are in these different colors uh, and so uh, executable files are showing up in one color uh, file id.diz showing up in a sort of red color config files are showing up in this other green same for the ini that's kind of a config type of file anything that's unrecognized is showing up in these other types of colors so you'll see uh, colors being used as a way to represent different files on your system now uh, I can uh, uh, on the and the double dot here, I can just double click on that and actually will bring me to the uh, up one directory. And let's go into my temp directory, kind of see what's there. So I've uh, copied some files over here just to kind of play with. And so you can see that uh, I've got a, an LST file and some zip files that are, these are all copied over from the FreeDOS 1.2 install CD. Uh, you can see again, uh, zip files are showing up in this red color. Now, if I click on uh, this file, I can actually view it. There's a built-in file viewer. So I can just uh, hit F3 and that brings up the file viewer and I can uh, now look at the list file uh, that, I, that I copied over. Uh, so this is uh, helpful if you have a text file uh, that you want to take a look at. Sometimes if you've got a binary file or like a word processing file, uh, it's not going to perfectly represent it, but it does a pretty good job or at least enough that you can kind of see what's in it, see if you want to open it. I'll hit escape to get out of that. Now uh, I can act on these files uh, by actually right clicking on them and you can see a little check mark show up here. Uh, it looks like a uh, sort of a square root symbol. It's the best you're going to get in a text interface. Uh, so I keep right clicking on them and you can see it's going to select multiple files. And now I can use the keyboard and I can say F8 to delete. That's sort of the shortcut to delete a file. So let's click on that. So I want to delete these files. Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and select yes. Uh, and does, do you want to okay to delete these? Yes, I do. Uh, now, they're marked as read-only because I copied them over from the CD, so it's going to say FYI, they're, they're, they're read-only. Yeah, let's go ahead and say yes to all of them, so I don't have to do it for every single one. And so you can see it's a great way to interact with uh, your system. Now, uh, other ways you can interact with the system, uh, this shows off the, the multiple panes or the powers of having these multiple panes. On the right-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and click on the D drive, and that's, again, my FreeDOS 1.2 install CD. And I can go uh, under, let's go under Util, and uh, I can actually uh, right-click on several of these files, and I will uh, check them. Let's go ahead and just sort of select those three. Now, I could use the keyboard. I can do F5 to copy, but I can also, uh, now that I've uh, marked these three, I can actually use the mouse to click and drag. Uh, and you can see it's showing three selected files. I'll let go of it, and then it's going to go ahead and just copy those files over. Uh, and so that's a, a very handy way to uh, interact with files in your system. You don't have to do it just plainly by the keyboard. You can actually uh, sort of get some click and, and drop action uh, on DOS Commander, kind of uh, more like modern systems. It's a handy way to, uh, uh, to interact with your files. Uh, the menus up here, I don't want to go through everything. There's some neat tools under the utilities, the calculator, uh, calendar, and ASCII table, things like that. Um, menus for the panel, menus for the manager. Uh, you can also, under uh, options, I wanted to show one other thing here, and that is uh, the colors. And so I said earlier I've got a color palette loaded that makes it look like Norton Commander. If I go to the bottom, I can actually load other palettes. And so uh, there's load palette. And so right now I've got uh, number six loaded. That's the Norton uh, one. So I can actually just show you what some of them looks like. Uh, the black and white color palette. Uh, just click on that and you can see it's going to put everything into black and white and gray and that's a great color scheme if you've got a system that 
uh, is running on a monochrome display, um, or maybe it's a display that uh, is old and not functioning very well, and you just want to run it in, in black and white mode, uh, or maybe you just like the black and white look. So uh, that's uh, one way that you can interact uh, with, uh, with that color. Um, if I go back to load palette, uh, now, maybe you're a fan of night mode, sort of a dark mode on your system, and so you can use dark, and that'll bring up this black background. Uh, and you can see, by the way, it is changing the colors uh, of all the files over here. If I go back to on this side, um, and let's go into uh, my DN directory up here, and you can see the different files. They're getting different colors as well. And so uh, when you change color schemes, uh, you're not just changing the background colors, you're also changing the, these colors for the files to indicate what they are. Again, executable files are showing up in, in, in this color palette as sort of this uh, purple color. Uh, you're getting uh, .dis files uh, showing up in this uh, darker cyan. You got the lighter cyan with your config files, same as an in INI. Uh, zip files showing up in uh, green, and of course anything that's unrecognized is going to show up in this sort of uh, just regular white. Uh, just to show off some of the other uh, color palettes that are in here, uh, maybe you want to look at the, uh, there's a mono. Uh, now this one is not quite the same as that black and white. Uh, it's uh, just clicking on that. You can see that it is going to run it in sort of a plain black and white, but it is going to show uh, the, 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 you know, these, these menu items like, like options, uh, each of these key letters is going to show up in a different color. And so that's, that's helpful if you've got a, a system that will display that in a different color. Uh, it rather, it, on, a, on, a, on a monochrome display, it might actually show that in a different kind of intensity. Now, uh, just to show off one other one in there, uh, the VAX. Uh, so if you ran on an old VAX system like I did, uh, that's kind of what that, that system looked like. So it's all, you know, green monitor, uh, sort of the VT100 look. And so that's all I want to do today. I just wanted to show off a couple of things you can do in DOS Navigator. So I'll go ahead and close, uh, file, and then exit. Uh, and do I want to exit? Well, yep, I do. Sorry, I do. Uh, and so that's DOS Navigator. So that's the video for this week. Are there other topics you'd like me to cover? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to look at them. Uh, before I go, I wanted to uh, thank everybody who's supporting me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. I, I really thank you for that support. Uh, some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I wanted to recognize you here. So thank you very much for that. Before I go, visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.